Okay. All right. Here we go. Real quick. A couple of things to do with your speed square. This is a speed square. It's cheap. It's like three dollars or something. If you're going to build something, if you're going to frame it out, anything to do with this stuff, you want this. This one's got a, a compass type deal you can use on it. Um, it's, it's got some measuring on it. It's super, 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 super handy. It does more than I'm going to explain here. The main things I'm going to show you right now are trying to get stuff square. So, right here, first thing we're going to do. We're going to make sure this saw blade is square. You can kind of see it. You can kind of see me attempting to cut my fingers off. It is unplugged. Don't do this with the saw plugged in. I know that seems like common sense, but don't. All right, put the square on it. Come over here. This one's just a smidge out. It needs to go back that away. Kind of whoop. Uh -huh. Hands in the way. Watch this. Whoop. That way. So I'll just sit here a minute. Check your saw for square first, guys. It'll make your life a lot better. Secondly, I've got some stuff measured out here. Uh, how I want this to work. So I'm going to take my tape measure. I'm going to try and figure out uh, 24 and 3 quarter is my first one. Make a little tick mark right there. I'm not going to try and mark all the way across the board. I am going to move this particular camera. So I'm not going to mark all the way across the board with my tape measure. I'm going to come back make a second mark. I'm going to catch this flat edge up against that. I'm going to move it over to the width of my line. That's important if you're using a marker like I am or a big felt tip pen or something. I'm using a marker because it's getting dark and this is just rough construction. Push this all the way up. Make sure it's flat. It doesn't rock back and forth like I'm making it do right now. You want to make sure it doesn't have any big chunks or anything silly going on there like this side's got some roughness we don't like we'll just right there pushed up against it and there's our mark that's square if your saw is square and that's square your cut should be roughly square now it's the most basic thing you're going to do with this is make sure stuff square but you're going to do it all day long. Every cut I make is done like that. The other alternative is to get a big chop saw or radio arm saw and where this will have something flat it can go against like a backstop and then the saw just <whistles> through it. I uh, don't own one of those. I own one for metal. I do not own one for wood. The other thing I'm going to do, my dad taught me this, I'm going to get a little X. Why am I making an X right there? So I know which piece I'm keeping. So I don't make three more cuts out of the piece I needed. The other thing you can do is just write. And you're going to cover it up anyways, right? So write how big that piece is. I do like this little X. I use this on a lot of stuff. I'll make my line. I'll make a little X so I know where it's going. We're going to go ahead and try and cut this. We're going to plug this in. Hold on. So I plugged the saw in, just in time to have to move the camera. Okay, on this saw, I adjusted the saw too, but on this saw is, uh-huh, time for me to turn the flash on, it's getting dark. Woo, that's bright. On this saw is a zero. If you get your line in between that and that, and kind of keep it where it doesn't wiggle, it's hitting both ends in the middle of that line, you should be pretty well on the mark as to where the blade goes. Um, I am a blade watcher. So as I'm starting, I crane my head around and try and look at the blade to make sure that it's dead on because I find these are just a little bit off. Um, it's not always the case. It's just my experience that I can trust the blade. I can't trust the marks. So there's that.
Notice the saw bogged a little bit. I'll own it. Saw was at just a little bit of an angle when I started and I corrected it. It made the blade bog down some. All right, we're going to go ahead and mark off and do the rest of these so you get an idea of what this looks like in my world. The next piece is 13 and a half inches. I've got a scrap piece that just cut off. Happens to be that size. I should also have a marker in my pocket. Over here, you see that? Yeah. Okay, 13, 13 and a half. It's a good idea to reference. Don't just willy-nilly when you're bringing this tape measure back. Try and get it close to one edge. Or if you got a decent eye, you've done this several times, you can kind of tell it's right in the middle, uh, judging by the distance here and the distance here. All right, got my tick mark. Got my X. I'll flip that around. Right there, the edge of the line. Take that over. My next piece is 34 and 3 quarters. Over here. Over there. 34. 3 quarters. Now, there's a lot of books and stuff you can find on the internet, but I recommend going out and finding them if it interests you. Telling you more things your speed square can do than what I've shown you. That's okay. I'm just here for the basics, guys. I can tell you a lot of things. I am not an expert in carpentry. I'm decent in carpentry, which is just good enough to get in trouble with. There you go, three pieces, measured, squared, cut, voila. Thanks for watching guys, I hope this gives you some idea on this super handy little deal, Speed Square, as to uh, what you can do with it. It also serves as a straight edge on every uh, deal there, as you can see, probably better with the light on. Uh, you can hook it, you can uh, measure out from that inside corner there inch two inch um, I've seen guys a lot of guys use three quarters a lot of their measurements they'll take a drill bit or a knife and make a little notch here stick their pin down it and slide it all the way down the board so they get a mark right where they want it um, you start looking at guys that are cabinet makers and stuff they are the masters you want to look at stuff like that fine if you want to just uh, nail some stuff together learn a few easy cheats tips tricks I got you folks here we are. Thanks again for watching. God bless.